Hello beaters, this is Christine from Casey Dragonfly and the Ears Have It. Today I want to go over some options to store your beads and uh, places that you can set them out when you're actually making a beading project. So, first thing I'm going to go over is one of the first things that I ever got, which is a little fuzzy mat. And this was pretty, pretty awesome because I could pretty much lay this down anywhere. It's small, as you can see from the ruler. It's about 11 inches by 7. And you can roll it up, take it anywhere. Disadvantage of this is that you can't just fold this up. And carry them off or store them any of your projects where you have beads laying out all over the place uh, the thing I do like about this of course is that you can spread your beads out and they stay so if you drop them they don't roll very far as you can see they pretty much stick to your area and you can bunch it up like this and then just put the beads back into their container. These are inexpensive. You can get them pretty much any local bead store. And they come in a limited variety of colors. I've seen white. I've seen peach. Uh, never seen black. But then your black beads would camouflage on that and disappear. Uh, as your white beads would on a white mat. So it's good to get something <clears throat> that's a color you don't often use. Like, I don't really know of or have any beads that would be concealed on this to a point where you actually wouldn't see them. So for a beginner, this is good, but think about how are you going to store these beads? How are you going to carry them around? Um, those are big considerations. Now, <clears throat> this mat <clears throat> excuse me comes in a larger size this one here is over 12 inches long by 11 inches wide i think it's probably about 14 inches wide and of course a little more expensive not that much but again not so great when you have to carry them now, <clears throat> the next thing that I went to in my evolution of being able to carry beads was this beautiful container. I got this at a bead and design show, and it was a lady who had blank copies. I asked her to put a dragonfly on here, because you, you know me and dragonflies, and she did an adorable little um, ethnic version of one. And it's pretty good. You can uh, shake this around and <clears throat> it's not going to lose your beads as long as it's attached together. That's the disadvantage of this is I needed rubber bands to put on it. And I had decided that I was going to put two in case one breaks. But if you put only one, there's a much easier chance that this thing is going to do this and you're going to end up with a disaster on your hands. So if you get one of these, always make sure you have two very big long rubber bands holding it together. It's really neat inside. I want to show you what it looks like. You've got some great little compartments here for your beads. Right now I'm doing a peyote stitch lariat necklace for Doctor Who, and 13th Doctor, and there's a bunch of colors. So this is a nice, kind of cute way to store them. And it's good to take on the road as long as you take precautions. Now, with something like this, I would recommend that, because it's a little tough getting these beads out of these little cubby holes, that you lay down a fuzzy mat and put your bead tray on top of it. So... If you're beating and one falls off and around, it's going to be contained on their fuzzy mat. So, I still do projects with this occasionally. 
and it's good when you have a lot of colors and most of my projects usually have a minimum of well a dozen colors normally so it's got plenty of space for that and as you saw it had longer sections where you can put more beads or you could put bugle beads or something that's non delica now the next thing I went to because I was doing I was I started with pen wraps was this container here and this is something that I got at a local Joann's craft store and they're individual pockets you can snap them open what I did was I took uh, I went to like Office Depot and I got little stickers to put on there so that you can um, so I could see exactly which color corresponded to what on my chart um, disadvantage of this is it's deep so I still needed something to pour the beads out on and I always pour just a few at a time um, unless it's a large amount of one color I'm using at once um, I just try to minimize any dis potential disasters that might happen um, disadvantage with this is it's only good for two four six eight compartments there's also a six compartment version that I have they are stackable so um, that's a good thing and it's small so you could carry this in your purse and that would really work except it doesn't it's not able to carry your needles your thread your scissors in which case I got one of these containers which again you can get <clears throat> at any maybe Hobby Lobby or Joann's Michaels um, where else could you get them uh, pretty much any craft store that would you know that would uh, carry something like this and it's big enough as you can see to carry anything you need as far as your work so altogether having these and the bead mat is something that's it's still containable and it's okay uh, but I'm always looking for new alternatives and something that makes more sense and is easier to carry all of my supplies in so check out your Joann's or Michael's they have periodic sales in fact it seems like they have sales going on all the time and I got some containers there that are pretty cool a stackable one this one's got six little screw tops well they um and they work I haven't actually used this uh, particular set because again I use way more than six colors 90% of the time and when you have all of these set out and they're open of course you, you know you run that risk that uh, you're gonna accidentally hit them the cat's gonna jump up on them and start batting them around so depending on your circumstances and your workspace this may or may not be a good alternative now this one has 30 containers and they're really small this is about the size of a probably a nickel the interior but they're deep so this is something that's good for your larger projects and if you have some that have a lot of beads you could probably get eight to ten grams in here I would guess so this is something I haven't tried but it's uh, something that uh, could be used certainly by some people now I have a large project going on right now that is um, it's a picture of a fuchsia and there's a lot of colors lots of greens lots of pinks and um, purples for the flowers so this is another one that it needs rubber bands but I started using this a couple of projects back and it's good for Saturday nights when I'm sitting watching the TV and I just pull a drawer out of my desk facing the television and I can work from here and I can just tap my finger in and pull up the beads and kind of work this way or I can take one of these out and just pour it on my surface again you need some place that'll contain those little buggers so they don't go all over um, it comes with these containers and these are the lids the disadvantage for this is that I have to have uh, I put a I took a bag and I took all of the um, 
the different tops except for these three here and I put them in a plastic bag and just stored them away for the duration so you lose those well you might have a problem another disadvantage to this one is you cannot turn this over all the bees will spill out trust me this happened to me one time it was not fun and I spent um, a week or two just putting the beads back whenever I had a moment and believe me most of the time I don't but it was nice therapy but it's something I'd really rather not do if I can help it so that's one of my latest containers now something I use a lot when I have these containers that don't have a place to keep the beads when I have them on the needle is I have this tray and this is actually a really neat tray I got this at a store that unfortunately is no longer in business I just closed uh, but it's uh, from a website called beadonitboards.com I'll put the URL up in the notes and I wasn't too crazy about the color but at the time I didn't have a lot of color uh, ideas I kind of like the edge of the color but this plain blue I mean again it's good because you're not going to lose beads on here because of camouflage disadvantage to this is I find that they end up in these little crevices here on the edges but that's got to happen pretty much with almost anything that you find so it's a little bit of a nuisance to get them out it keeps them pretty well contained though this is a fuzzy surface that minimizes them rolling out of your control it does happen a little bit more than on the soft fuzzy mat I showed you first but I do use this quite a bit and still enjoy it now recently I ran across a gal who was uh, she's really nice and she was showing me her product on Etsy and the store is called Lakeside Jewelry and this is called the No More Oops bead tray which I thought was a cute name and I'm gonna pull out the little label here she gave me with this her name is Darlene and this tray is really nifty and I'm using it right now for a pen wrap and as you can see it's got your labels for your different uh, your different colors this one here I had one more color than there were spaces for Murphy's Law it always happens so I just set them individually like this and tried to remember that the top one was I and the bottom one was my J bead I actually got them reversed but lucky for me it didn't matter with this project <laughs> but this is a great tray um, they as, as you can see I think there's um, this is a top fuzzy fa piece of felt it's the same as the first one I showed you it's the same fabric as this which isn't really fabric but it will uh, minimize rolling and it's a deep set channel with the piece on top so these aren't going anywhere as long as this stays in one place and stays upright and when I put my top on that's included I just lay my beadwork there set my thread and my needle in there and I just put this on top and there you go and you could use the top part to lay your beads down on if you want I don't find I really need to do that um, it might be good for uh, you know a splash area as I call it so um, in case they do roll around in front of it there you go they're not going too far but this is a great little tray and they're really really popular she sold a lot of these and gets great reviews I know I'm gonna give her a good review and there's two sizes for this you've got your one two three four five, six seven, nine capacity nine bead tray and there's this little guy and this one is uh, carries seven seven different colors and like I said it could always carry more if you put an extra color in there and kind of divided the space in half on either of these and you could theoretically take some stickers 
like I had on these trays and you can put them on the bottom and continue your numbering. That would be fine to do. Whatever gets all those colors in the space you need to work. There you go. So these are both on sale at her Etsy store. And it's, um, I know, I really like this. And it was uh, easy to work with. The edges, it's easier for me to get the beads out from the edges on from this one than it was on here. I When I try to get them and scoop them up with my fingernail, they tend to ricochet, and they don't do that here. You can pick them up pretty easy. There you go. And the color, again, is a good color that everything contrasts on. Even the white is easy to see on here, as you can probably see. So I really like this tray, and I would recommend everybody give it a shot. It's inexpensive, but it's great value for what you get. And this tray is probably the most expensive of all the options. They go anywhere from $40 to $120. This one is on sale right now for $40. It's normally more than that now. I bought that one so long ago that it uh, went up a little bit in price, I think. And, uh, you know, it all depends on what kind of project you're doing. How big is it? Your workspace? Are you taking it on the road? Um, this one, you would need something to put it in to keep it straight so that it doesn't go flying around. Uh, one I guess I would do if I was going on the road is maybe put it on here like this and then do my little rubber band thing but it's, and I would definitely keep it upright and not flip it uh, but anyway the um, I'll go ahead and put the links for this tray and the no more oops in the notes if you have any questions any feedback on something you've used that you would like to recommend by all means please leave a comment and if um, if it involves a question I or um, something that uh, you had a problem with, then I'll definitely answer it. So that's the end of the video. Um, thank you for watching and happy beating.